All right. Hey, it's Space Word Bird. And yes, an MT making vid for the weekend. Yeah, if you're new to our channel, uh, we have always been a no money spent channel. Uh, we grind. We work the auction house, sniping and flipping cards. We've shown you in past videos how you can very quickly pile up a ton of MT. Links to some past MT making videos uh, found in the comment section below. Go check them out right now. Check out the current auction house. Yes, since Monday, auction house has been fantastic on both PS4 and Xbox One. That's yeah, thanks to the release of these new throwback super packs. And yes, these packs have killed the value of throwback elite cards in the auction house. But what it's also done is gotten more people to spend money on the game. Yeah, buying packs and then throwing their cards away in the auction house. And that's where we, the sniping community, come in. We find the cards that have value and demand and then help the community reprice them for what they're actually worth. On today's vid, we're going to show you how to do this. Yeah, how to get your head around the auction house with this market crash. First, we're going to look at how these throwback super packs have killed the value of cards in the auction house. Important to understand pricing, value, and demand. Looking at pink diamond player cards alone, last weekend versus this weekend and what the cards are selling for now. The biggest losers, cards like Phil Chenier. Yeah, last weekend, 80K. This weekend, you can find it for under 25K. But the card lost 70% of its value in auction. And honestly, this card isn't terrible, just undersized. The other undersized losers, Joe Dumars and Mark Price, selling for 65% less than what they were selling for last weekend. Yeah, last weekend, both cards selling for 80K. This week, selling for around 30. Now, Pick Diamond Bigs, yeah, Throwback Elites, also taking a big hit. I think this, though, a combination of two factors. Yeah, one, we've got these Throwback Super Packs, flooding the market, and two, Pink Diamond Greg Odin is such a beast. Now, why are you not running this card in your lineup right now? Now, cards like Nate Thurman, Artis Gilmore, Will Chamberlain, Bob McAdoo, all taking big hits. Nate, the biggest loser of the bunch, this card selling for half of what it was selling for last weekend. Yeah, you can find this card with a buy now price of under 30k. Artis Gilmore selling for under 40% less than what it was selling for last weekend. You can find this card for 50k in auction. Pink Diamond Bob McAdoo for 33% less. Yeah, last weekend this card was a 60k card. This weekend you can find it for around 40. And Wilt, last weekend was a card that was just showing up for the first time for under 100k by now. This weekend, you can find it pretty easy for around 60k. And like Bob McAdoo, losing around 33% of its value in auction. Small forwards also taking a hit. Throwback Elite Pink Diamonds. George Gervin and John Havlicek, both big losers. Yeah, George Gervin last week selling for around 90k. This weekend, you can find it for around 40. Yeah, losing half of its value in auction. John Havlicek also selling for half of what it sold for last weekend. Havlicek was easily an 80k card. This weekend, you could find it for around 40. Now, these Throwback Elite cards are not bad cards. The problem is that the market is just flooded with them right now. So if you're shopping and looking to improve your lineup, now is the perfect time to upgrade your team. Snapping and flipping these cards, use this pink diamond price index as your guide. Yeah, set up filters to target players, use their positions, uh, conferences, divisions, and adjust your buy now price range as you experiment with filters. And then just spam that refresh. Now looking to improve your lineup, cards we recommend. Definitely pink diamond Dominique Wilkins. Yeah, this card this weekend is now finally under 100k buy now. This card is a card that's held its value in auction for quite a while because the card is solid. The card is sold for over 200k plus for quite a while. We've got this card in our lineup and we like it a lot. Gary Payton, another card that's selling for under 100k by now, finally, and worth giving a look. That is, if you're looking to run a true point card. Also, like Pink Diamond Moments, Nikola Jokic, uh, worth giving a look. Uh, this card last weekend was selling for 100k plus. This weekend, you could find it for under 50k. Now, Jokic, he's slow, but if you like running pick and fades, Jokic is the perfect card for that. It's Hall of Fame pick and popper and hustle rebounder. And the card has him listed at 7 foot. Also, like Pink Diamond Signature Series, Brandon Roy. Last weekend, this card was selling for around 100k by now. This weekend, you could find it for under 80. And also, other non throwback elite pink diamonds that have taken a hit moments shooting guards like Devin Booker James Harden Donovan Mitchell all selling for 30% less than what they were selling for last weekend uh, cards not worth giving a look that have lost a ton of value in auction this weekend Ben Wallace getting thrown away for under 15k yeah losing 40% of its value since last weekend and Pink Diamond Allen Iverson another cover series one card that shouldn't be in anyone's lineup now, Iverson you can find for under 20k in auction now, there are also some new pink diamonds added to the mix that you can find for under 100k by now the new moments Pink Diamond Jamal Crawford and the new throwback elite Pink Diamond Baron Davis uh, Crawford you can find for under 70k, Baron Davis for around 50. Now, we always like to keep a little spreadsheet to track pricing. Uh, there'll be a link to the spreadsheet in the video description below if you want to check it out, feel free. And also feel free to leave likes. Yeah, like say yeah, Space and Pete, we want to see more vids this weekend. Oh, and subscribe so you are ready to check out our next vids. For Party Pete, this is Space. Good luck in the auction house. We're out.